Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you another makeup tutorial. As you can see, this is kind of a fall vampy look. I am currently super obsessed with purple lips right now. It's kind of like an updated take on last year's burgundy that was so popular. I hope you guys enjoy watching. If you want to see this look, then stay tuned. So the first step we're going to do is cover our faces since it's going to be a little drier and a little cooler in the fall time. I'm switching over to a little moisturizing tinted moisturizer. This is the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. I really like it. I also like that I don't have to use powder with it because it already has kind of a matte finish. If you're extra oily, you can, but I like that I don't necessarily have to. So I'm just putting some on the back of my hand and apply this all over. In places where you need extra coverage, just kind of dot that area and then pat it into your skin. You don't want to swipe it because you don't want to rub any of the product away, just kind of tap, tap, tap. Next, I'm just going to apply some eyeshadow primer to my eyelids. I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is going to assure that the eyeshadow is a lot more pigmented and lasts all day and doesn't have any creasing problems. The first shadow I'm using is this gorgeous burgundy shade, and I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. And then I'm going to kind of brush it inward and downward. So it's creating kind of a winged shape right here. Now I'm just going to that upper edge and I'm blending it out just slightly. Now I'm taking this darker shade bondage and I'm just increasing the darkness in just this outer corner. Now I'm just taking this matte tan color and I'm blending out the edges. This one's called Downfall. Using a shade that's just slightly darker than your skin tone is really going to make this look like a very natural blended shadow. So that's kind of what you're going for there. Now I'm taking this lighter highlight shade Truth and I'm just going to blend this right underneath my brow bone. Now I'm adding a bit of Bobbi Dazzle to the inner corners and that's just going to brighten up the eyes. Using bondage, I'm going back into the lower lash line and I'm just blending this into the outer half of the eyes. Make sure it's thicker near the outer half and thinner as you go toward the middle. Now I'm taking my trusty eyeliner, this is from Stila, and fill in the outline of the shape that you want it to be. Make sure you wait a little bit longer than me before you blink, because of course you might get some transfer like that. No worries, we can easily clean that up. You yeah, know, Asian eye problems. <laughs> So if you want to cover up a spot like that, just load up an angled flat eyeliner brush with a bunch of the eyeshadow you used in that spot and just press it right over the line. And that should cover it up so it looks natural enough without having to completely redo your eyeshadow. <laughs> to make this black edge run seamless into the lower lash line, I'm just taking this really dark pencil eyeliner. You don't have to bring it too far in, just enough so that it looks like the outer corner is connected. Now I'm just filling in my brows using short strokes. Since I have such a severe wing here, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit further. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. And just wiggle the brush at the base and then pull upward. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just applying a nice fluttery set of false lashes. All right, now comes what I find to be the most fun parts, so the cheeks and the lips. We're gonna start off with cheeks. I'm using this Tarte Blush in Blushing Bride. It's kind of a scary, intimidating looking color, so you have to use a really light hand. I'm just like lightly pressing this in. And then I'm going to tap this into my skin near my ears back here. And just bring it forward. should give you a nice rosy flush. What I love about this color is it gives you that just pinched cheeks kind of look like you were just outside and came in from the cool crisp fall weather. I would make sure to choose a rose toned blush instead of a peachy one just to go with the burgundy eyes and the really bright vampy lips. Anytime I'm using a statement lip, I always make sure to use a lip liner before the lipstick. It helps you not to make mistakes and it gives you that really nice crisp clean line and it also helps the lipstick last way longer. So important tip for dark lipsticks for the fall. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay lip liner and lipstick in the shade Venom. So I'm gonna start off by outlining the lips and then filling them in completely.
For the lipstick, I'm going to start in the middle and then work my way out. <laughs> To make this really long lasting, I'm actually going to blot and then reapply one more time. Before we're totally done, we're going to do one last lipstick test to make sure the lipstick doesn't get all over your teeth. I hate when that happens. Take your finger, popsicle. Any remaining lipstick that's on the inside of your mouth that might grip onto your teeth is going to be on your finger. Wipe that right off and you should be good to go. Just going to throw on a couple of my favorite fall accessories. A nice warm beanie, my favorite flannel. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and you can subscribe down there to see more of my videos as well. If you'd like to see a little bit more of me just around town and stuff, you can always follow my social media. I'm on the Twitter, the Instagram, Facebook, just about everything. I'll have the links in the info box down below. This is Jen and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Today I'm going to show you my process of how I put on mineral makeup. I like using Bare Minerals. It's one of my favorite foundations that I've been wearing lately. So I've gotten a lot of requests for how I apply